So I've recently come across a little problem with this new template that you might be also hitting. So if you start ASP.NET Core Web Application, hit Next, Create, and if you've chosen ASP.NET Core 5 and Model View Controller, hit Create. Wait a little bit. If you run the application, like so, You'll see the, the default home page turn up there. However, if you go in and try and change something like this, welcome to my cool website, save, you would think that by refreshing, you'd actually get some updated text. You don't by default, which will massively slow you down in the long run. So how to solve this? You hit stop, you right click dependencies, go to manage NuGet projects, manage NuGet packages, pardon me. If you search a runtime compilation under browse, <laughs> runtime compilation, you want to install Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC Razor runtime compilation, hit install, agree to all that cubbins. So once that's installed, you want to head to startup, look for the configure services method. Somewhere in here it's services add controllers with views. You can then do an autocomplete for add Razor runtime compilation, like so. Let's try and run the app. And once that's up, whilst it's picked up our, the changes we made before, what we can now do is head to index and type something like this. Um, my amazing website save and you'll notice that there's a little pause but at least you don't have to stop and rerun the app for every change you do anymore there you go welcome to our my amazing website you could also change it to something like don't don't forget to like and subscribe save refresh and there you have it you could change this to anything you like you could even make it bigger Refresh, and it's super big. Look at that. If you found that useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.